If the Remain side are going to win this, they need people like Alan Johnson to get the Labour voters out. The former cabinet minister and head of the Labour in campaign was in Liverpool today spreading the word. Are you pleased to see Alan Johnson here in Labour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. made up, yeah. made up to yeah. see him, yeah. made up. It's about time there's someone like that in Portland come around here. Yeah. <laughs> but the message wasn't getting through to everyone. I think we're waste houses for the new year. All these health and safety, all these good, all these two good, isn't this? No, I want house. How would you normally vote in an election? At Labour. But even though they say in? No, no, I'm voting with my heart, so very much out, yeah. After a bit of leafleting, time to get back on the bus, where I ask Alan Johnson if he thinks it's now time for his leader, Jeremy Corbyn, to take the next step and campaign alongside David Cameron. I don't know because I don't think it would do either campaign any good. The reason why we set up a separate Labour Party campaign, properly funded, out on the road every day, is so people understand completely where Labour stand in this. There's already some confusion because of all the blue on blue stuff. There's already some confusion because up on this issue and up until June the 24th, we're on the same side as the Prime Minister. Would you share a platform with David Cameron? No, I, I, I don't think that that would be helpful to me or him. No trip to Liverpool's complete without going on the ferry across the Mersey. So Alan Johnson headed out to take another look at the city. In 1975, the vote in Liverpool turned out to mirror the way the rest of the country voted, 65% for in. This time, it looks like being a lot closer than that. News comes through of David Cameron's surprise press conference. So does the leader of Labour in think this shows the Prime Minister is rattled? Rattled is the wrong word for this. The right word for this is being concerned to be sure that the British public hear the right arguments and get the truth, not some of the disingenuous rubbish that we're getting from the Leave side. He never wanted this referendum and he resents being on the same side as David Cameron. But if he can't deliver Labour voters, they will both end up the losers. Andy Bell, 5 News, Liverpool.